I am Professor Samantrae from National Population Stabilization Fund, Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, Government Republic of India. When we talk of population stabilization, maternal mortality rate, neonatal mortality rate, and infant mortality rate, they reflect the quality of population and the state of progress. When repeated child births so are seen as insurance against high incidences of death amongst infant and children, accessibility to facilities offering health and family welfare services used to be far from desirable for most rural areas. The involvement, therefore, of educated youth and community leaders is essential to create necessary awareness and understanding of the importance of age and time of marriage and spacing child births. India's population some facts, you know. 17% 70, of the world population, you know, live in India. By 2030, India may emerge as the most populous country in the world. Population of individual individual Indian states match with that of many countries around the world. Next, please. Look at this. This is the Republic of India, and these are uh, countries. And Uttar Pradesh, one of the states within the within the country, matches to that of the population of the entire Brazil. Now. From the demographic uh, speculations, if we do not do anything and if we do not intervene in population growth, we would be landing up at 2.01 billion by 2045. What the country is aiming at presently is to keep the population growth on the green line, on the low variant uh, stage, so that we become at least by 2045 1.39 billion. Next. Challenges for India. What is the challenge that we face? In rural areas, in six most populous states, more than 60% of women get married before age 18. In Kerala and Himachal Pradesh, two states, whereas less, less than 20% uh, uh, girls get married at this tender age. Change in the community mindset and early marriage, therefore, it's a necessity and we believe that it is possible. <coughs> Challenges for India. Now this poor lady, she may be my daughter, look. She has already two, two children looking, the, looking for the care of the lady and she has the third in the offering. Age at marriage. In 1992 54% of people were found to be getting married at the age of 18. And the picture is Coming down, we are happy about it. Early marriage leads to early childbearing, thereby enhancing the maternal health risks. Next. Now, these are the heartland of India. These are the, these are the number of states where the total fertility rate is far beyond <coughs> three. Whereas, according to national population policy, we would like to have a total fertility rate of 2.1, <coughs> so that by next year, we are able to uh, achieve the replacement level in the nation's population. What improves maternal health? I'm coming to close. Infant childhood deaths can be reduced by simple, simple intervention, like delaying the age of marriage until after 18, adopting, spacing, minimum two years gap between marriage and first child, and three years gap between first and second child, and limiting the family size to two to three children, and go for permanent uh, uh, sterilization thereafter. Selected innovative strategy of National Population Stabilization Fund, where well, I happen to be the national coordinator for the whole country. We have been trying out, these are Indian names, but the English equivalent is also there. Awarding responsible, awarding couples for responsible parenthood, promoting IUCD 380A, and taking up voluntary sterilization after two or three children, Adoption of double puncture laparoscopic technique for quick turnover of the sterilization cases in the primary health center level and service through call center. India had just opened a call center last year where <coughs> starting from adolescent, ending with just married and with one or two children, can ask any question 
with full confidentiality on a toll-free number from any part of the country. And last but not the least, we are taking up registration of marriage in a, in a, on, a on a military footing. Next, now here is a uh, uh, here is a young girl who married at the age of 19 and had the first child after two years, and the country rewarded this girl on the World Population Day 2008 for acting as a responsible parent. Now this is how we inculcate the spirit of responsible parenthood amidst the adolescents. Now this is a huge gathering of the adolescent girls in a central district of India who witnessed awarding ceremony to the to the responsible parents. They are uh, uh, getting the award is publicized very, 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 very uh, extensively in the local newspapers so that people come to know about it. Next please. We have started a, a system of verbal autopsy of each maternal death. Whenever a single maternal death is reported, the collector calls the medical staff, the paramedical staff, the villagers, and asks everybody as to what, what were the circumstances leading to death of a woman because of child-related, child-birth-related cause. And of this intervention, this is the primary health center level maternal deaths reported in Tamil Nadu. The incidence of reporting of the maternal mortality is coming down. National Rural Health Mission, population stabilization, gender and democratic balance is the major goal. At all primary health centers, these posters are prepared by government and pasted anywhere in the public places, which say, do not get your daughter married before the age 18. It's a criminal offense. Freedom of choice to the newly married couple with all kinds of contraceptives available, absolutely free of cost throughout the On February 14, 2006, the Honorable Supreme Court passed an order for the whole country. All marriages will have to be compulsorily registered. And the present government has respected the sentiment of the National Commission for Women that compulsory registration would be of critical importance to ensure minimum age of marriage, preventing marriage without consent of the parties, checking biogamy and polygamy, and enabling married women to leave in their matrimonial houses and to receive maintenance support. This girl, 12 year old age, age uh, named Rekha, was compelled by her parents to get married, telling the people that, look, my elder sister died at age 12. She produced four children, mm -hmm. and when all four children died, the poor girl was thrown out of the house. This little girl registered the wishes of her parents not to marry and became a role model for the whole country, and who was felicitated by the Honorable Health Minister, Mr. Gulam Nabi Azad, in Delhi. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.